Mr. Kramer, is the FDA monitoring seafood uh, recovered from the Gulf for the presence of heavy metals present in crude oil? We are not, no. Are you monitoring for it right now? And I, I would defer to NOAA to answer what, what has been done on this, but I, I wanted to mention that FDA is not, but the NOAA program we believe is a good sentinel program. For oh, let me let me go to NOAA then, it's because it's my understanding that compounds like mercury, arsenic, and other heavy metals that are present in crude oil have the ability to accumulate in the tissues of fish in levels that may cause harm, particularly to pregnant women and children. Has the FDA or NOAA here uh, examined seafood for the presence of heavy metals? Again, I'm going to defer to my, my colleagues at NIMS to answer that correctly, uh, and we'll get back to you with an answer for that. So, Mr. Kramer, back over here at FDA, you don't screen for heavy metals. You think that NOAA may, but Yes, I, I the, witness, the witness today does not know the answer. To that. Um, we do not expect to see an increase based on this um, on this spill. But Mr. Kramer, I wrote a letter to the FDA on this issue of heavy metals six weeks ago, and I have yet to receive an answer from the FDA. So, and I apologize for that, um, Mr. Chairman. I would be happy to respond to those questions at this time. If yeah, I don't. Like. I, d I would not have asked the question if I did not believe that. It was important. I mean, heavy metals obviously have um, a danger that attaches to them, and to have this kind of uh, regulatory black hole be created here today between the FDA and NOAA in terms of knowing what the response is to testing for heavy metals in these fish, uh, which we know can accumulate in fish, is something that uh, obviously should have been identified um, within the last six weeks since I wrote the letter. When can I re expect that response from the uh, FDA? In a matter of days. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Kramer, uh, very much.